this young lady, one of the best ever to do it in a Crestwood Cadet uniform. Uh, Katie, uh, you've been to the finals uh, multiple times in the 100 and the 200. You're at the top of the mountain in both uh, this year. Uh, what got it done for you? I think all the, the work I did it, to put into it, my training, I brought a lot of 400s at practice and I've been pushing every event to do it full out at practice to get faster. And bottom line, uh, I know you had four events really in an hour on uh, Thursday. Uh, does this seem like a lighter, uh, more comfortable day for you? Yes, because it's the one of the two. I, I know I have those events, they're always solid for me. So I knew this would be a good day compared to Thursday where I had the long jump in the floor and those are both events that go either way for me. Well, and I know I just uh, saw you talking to Brooke Burns of Decora. Uh, she was third in this event in uh, 3A, Ellie Lesh. I know you ran against her uh, for South Wind in uh, 1A. Uh, area kind of represented itself yeah. uh, pretty well. Uh, how did facing uh, people like that make you better? Um, I know with Brooke Burns, she's always pushed me in the two. She, uh, whenever I run with her like, at conference, she's always so ahead of me, and that really helps me to drive myself faster to kick in that extra gear and really go. So I think having that competition is what gives me that extra gear to really kick it in because I know I've had hard competition. I can compete with hard competition. And from what I understand, you're going to keep this track thing going. Uh, is that correct? Yep. I'll be running at Luther next year. I'm going to get best of luck to you there. It's been a pleasure uh, watching you compete and covering you. Congrats on two state titles. Here. Thank you.